Hi designers, in today's video we're going to look at the Revolve tool in Onshape and how you can create some unique shapes that you can merge to the car. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to go to Front View, create a new sketch, and what I'm going to do is create a quarter of the shape I want to create. Today we're going to be making a bullet shape. So I'm going to choose this front plane right here, and then the spline tool, and I'm going to create a curve that follows the bullet shape up until about this point. I'm going to push escape to finish drawing that line and change to a regular line tool. I'm going to click that last point and before I click again I'm just going to hover over this point so I get that guideline to make sure it's in the same level and what I want to do is do a perfect vertical line. Click and then bring it back to that point. And the shape is complete. As you can see it turned gray. So we're going to finish the sketch, come back to home view, and now we're going to click the Revolve tool right here. So in this dialog box, it's asking what face do we want to revolve? So let's choose this sketch that we made. And then it's asking for a revolve axis. I'm going to click this so it's blue, and then I'm going to choose an axis. In this case, I'm going to choose this line, and my sketch is going to revolve around that line. You can choose other lines as well, and it will try to do a revolve. So let's see what happens when we click this line. And there you go, you got a bullet shape. Pretty cool, right? So before anything, I'm going to change this to a new object because I want to have it separated from the car. I don't want it to add anywhere to the car. And now I'm going to click the green check mark. So I have my bullet shape looking pretty good. So it has created a new part, it's called part two. So I'm just going to choose Transform, Translate by XYZ, and I'm going to grab these arrows and move it where I want to in the car. Because we drew it on the front plane, it's directly in the center of the car. And click green check mark. Let's choose that again, Part 2, Transform, and this time let's scale it. So I'm going to scale, and it's asking me to choose a point of reference on the object. So I'm just going to choose this very tip point right here. So it says vertex of revolve 3. And now you can change this number. So if I choose 2 and push enter, you can see that it's scaled up quite massively. Maybe that's a little bit too big. So I'm going to go 1.3. All right. Part 2, transform. Sorry, that's mirror. Transform. Translate by XYZ and it doesn't know which part, so I want part two. And let's bring this back to a better position, right about here, maybe lower it down a little bit so it's more flush with the car. And let's go to home view. So as you can see, you've added this shape to the car model, and now we need to recut the chamber hole for the gas canister again. But simply, that's how you use the revolve tool in on shape. You can draw any shape and make it revolve around one of the lines of axis. So get creative and change the shape of your car so that you are maximizing aerodynamics and controlling that airflow.